Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911 back again with another unboxing video. This one's a little different. I don't do these much, uh, really often. Um, I'm unboxing or unbagging or unwrapping <clears throat> a book. And uh, over time, I've done a few unboxings of books. Uh, one was uh, the Babadook book, which was uh, signed by the author. I also did a book on the Dune. Those were very limited editions, signed by the cast and the directors like Timothy Chalamet, uh, Josh Brolin. Um, <clears throat> and uh, today I have this uh, Porsche book. I'm a big Porsche fan. Uh, my brother, he works at Porsche. And when he was in Germany, he got me one of these books. And apparently they're all sold out. Uh, I, I did briefly see this a long time ago, but it was expensive. I think it was like 250 US dollars. So I was like, ah, I don't need another giant book to uh, collapse my shelf. Um, and it is quite a big book too. But uh, to my surprise, I got this as a gift from him for my birthday and I am actually super happy about it. Um, it's uh, the Porsche Artifacts book edition. Uh, it's a museum edition. It's done by, with conjunction with, uh, I think Type 7 and um, a company, uh, I think it's the publishing company. Uh, what was it called? Uh, ERG Media. So the background to this is uh, this kind of kind of goes with the 75th anniversary with Porsche. Um, these guys from Type 7 were allowed access to the, the Porsche archives at Zuffenhausen uh, in Germany. And not many people get access to that. And it's only a select few employees. And uh, these people went into uh, this archive and they got to look through all these different, I guess, history and artifacts and read about stories about people uh, who are passionate about Porsche and it helped over the years, over 75 years, kind of shape uh, and influence uh, Porsche today. Um, yeah, so they got access to the entire archive and it's usually traditionally off limits. Uh, to all but a select number of employees with, uh, yeah. And I guess when type seven went in there, they, uh, they got help from the people who work there. And they, I think they spent three solid weeks in the archive in summer 2022, working uh, intensively to compile an unparalleled body of imagery and information, which is here in this book. Um, yeah, I guess uh, in those archives, there's economic, technical, cultural connection to Porsche stuff that, and resources uh, designed to expand knowledge about the brand and um, I guess historical public relations and uh, stuff through motorsport, through history and uh, I guess legal issues and, and it's all covered in here. Um, I really don't know what to expect when opening this. Uh, we're gonna see. And uh, it should be pretty magical, I would say. All right, so um, yeah, I've cut this open already. I, I believe he brought this back from Germany. That's why it's all taped up. And I don't wanna wreck this outside part because I mean, this is, this is pretty cool. Like you can kind of see like schematics here and see uh, the Porsche headlights. This is the frunk. They call it a frunk and not a trunk because it's in the front. The front is the trunk. So front trunk, frunk. Uh, there's some barcodes here. More of that. That's the back of the car, which is really, really cool. And it has a part number, map 09000 or something. Ooh, okay. That's uh oh yes. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And right now you can see these are solid metal corner protectors. This says in association with Porsche type with Porsche type seven presents artifacts. Porsche mu edition museum Porsche. Uh Dr. Ferdinand Porsche. And then in Porsche Corporate Archives and History Services. I guess they helped them too. And that is the part number, MAP 0900723. Uh, that is, yeah, Type 7's logo. I don't know what this house is. Photographed by Thomas Walk. 
designed with Andy Cruz, who is from House, and published by ERG. They are the publishing house. So what do we see here? We see Porsche. You see the Stuttgart logo there. And on the back here, it's pretty cool. Just shows a security seal cut to open. I'm not gonna cut that. I think I can open it from here, uh, but it's sealed. That's cool. We just got the Porsche thing here. And uh, let's see if we can open it without cutting. And we can. All right, what do we got here? This is pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Type seven was here. I guess this is when you sign in to go look at the archives. <laughs> this is the date from 09, 2018, 2022, 2022. I guess this is the team from type seven who went in summer 2022. Yeah, that's May, June. And then they came later on. I'm not sure if these guys are part of it. Uh, storage rooms of the Porsche Museum are equipped with an extinguishing gas system. If the extinguishing system is triggered by the fire alarm system, the area is automatically flooded with extinguishing gas. After the warning, time 30 seconds as it's by the gas is suffocating, risk of death. Wow. The area must be left immediately when the alarm siren sounds. The instructions of the museum staff or the brigade must be followed at all times. I guess they, they want to save everything, right? And this is kind of like unrelated, but Disney, when their uh, studio burned down, they lost a lot of their original uh, movie films for, I think, Lady and the Tramp and um, some other movies. And so I guess they, they don't want that to happen in the Porsche archive. All right. So apparently in this, there's like stuff in here that has never been seen before by like the public. Um, Certain stuff about, I guess, uh, their racing history and how they're dedicated to light, doing lightweight motorsports. Uh, there's going to be historical cars, snapshots. Um, I don't know, like maybe the first Porsche sail, sail slip or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll see. But this box looks pretty, pretty cool, I must say. And you got this little strap here. I guess you pull it to kind of pull up the book. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm gonna close this up, move it out of the way. Wow. And then we'll take a look at what was inside here. It's all with the Porsche logos there. It says Porsche on the spine of the book. This is a box that holds it and Right off the bat, it already looks like kind of like a Porsche service manual. Porsche service manual. Sorry, it's two syllables. Porsche, not Porsche. Um, and yeah, you can just pull that out here. And that is the book. And it just looks like it's like a file folder. Oh man, this is really, really exciting. And then I guess you would unroll that that but we will take a look at this first it's a very thick book uh, i believe there's a uh, 300 some odd pages in here let's see how many pages oh man just hear that brand new spine cracking how many pages 300 and Hmm, not exactly sure, but I think I read somewhere it's uh, 356 pages total, uh, which is significant, at least I think so. Uh, the 356 speeder, speedster, uh, that's what I think, believe, uh, James Dean drove. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's a pretty iconic historical Porsche that a famous person drove and ultimately died in. Um, that's, and I guess like you can compare the modern day, uh, I guess, Paul Walker, but he wasn't driving the vehicle. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty sad on both accounts. But uh, let's open up this book. Oh, you can hear it just cracking open because it's never been opened before. And then here we have another kind of file folder here. And I guess there's different aspects of how they design the logo. 
five five and you get these little like stripes there i don't know what these things are called they look like eyelashes you got the horse you got the crest inside there and the different colors seven seven they were the same color six six same colors as well as their uh, index artifacts words by nat twist and porsche corporate archives history services Um, I guess this kind of tells, this is kind of like an index to the book, pages. It says 348 pages here, but then I think if you continue, that starts at 348 and ends at probably 356, which is cool. And then let's see what we have here. Um, the blueprint metal blueprint cylinder for the 356 i guess modeling mallet v10 engine model 906 development model that was a race car 930 cylinder heads uh, my father had a 930 porsche it was a three liter 1982 930 blueprint that's i think when they went to a 3.2 liter 935 turbo those are very iconic uh, the kremer porsche is based on that 935 radiator cap, fuel tank ball, 911 rear RSR turbo study, sports car of tomorrow design study, 917 engine cooling fan, 917 key and barrel factory production ledgers. That's so cool. 550 spider, 356 panel shelf tooling, Ferry's first driver's license, 1925. You even see Ferry Porsche's driver's license. RS 60 spider manuals type 534 model some of these i don't even know and i thought i was a great porsche fan sport roadster early porsche type 9695 concept model original porsche crest sketch oh that's cool porsche style folders 959 that's my the porsche that got me into it all um the pink pig design that's an awesome race car it kind of has like the cutout uh, the cross sections of the pig. Uh, 956 livery study, helmets, Patek Philippe, that's a watch, that's programmable master clock system, race key and barrel on Porsches. The, the, um, the key start is on the left side and not on the right side, I think. Yes, so when they jumped in the cars for Le Mans, they can start the car with their left hand and I already put the gear on the right hand and then they could drive. And that helped save them a couple of seconds actually to get out of the starting grid uh, before everyone else, which was a great design. 911 Carrera RS 3.0 Blueprint, 935 model. That's so cool. And this is kind of like the pig, um, which I was telling they sectioned out on that race car. Uh, early 986, that's the and 996 design. Those are the air uh, water-cooled uh, 911 and Boxster. 959 accessory negatives. I guess those are the picture negatives. Wyzak workshop cupboard doors. Ferry's driver's license. Again, in 1950, though, Ferry's company brooch. Um, oh, look at it. It's binded with some uh, sort of red thread there, which is really cool. Kind of stitching like on the cars. <laughs> it's in the back porch. This is so cool. Boardroom, the beer contract. I don't know what that's about. Museum concept sketch, archive film reels, factory time clock, 804 di aerodynamic model, sport radiator, uh, Herbert Lynn Niger's diary. Sorry, am I pronouncing that right? William Hild's cigarette lighter. Early Hoffman Porsche advertisement. Oh, so they'll show the Porsche like kills bugs fast and all those stuff. Those were the, the, the ads that I grew up with. The older ads were pretty cool too. Um, reinforced 911 rally swingers, 907 design study, 962 cylinder head, FIA homologation papers. That's pretty cool for racing. Uh, car collection, car collection, car collection. Um, car collection, more car collection stuff. Car collection, car collection. All car collection. Um, showing all different stuff like Michelin tires. Also, wood gear shift knob, those were really cool. They brought that back in the Carrera GT. Original uh, engineering stickers of the 1964 Targa, because that Targa had to, the roof, even though it was removable in the middle, had to still be strong too for structural rigidity. 
carbon fiber detailing. Oh, so much cool stuff here. And these are some examples of the pictures. Helmets and whatnot. Okay, we'll put that back. This is pretty crazy. Man, I don't even know where to start with this. Oh, that poor spine. I'm just going to flip through it really quickly and we'll just land on stuff that I think looks cool. This, I guess, is the picture of the archives. I mean, this is like original blueprint. Uh, I am a picture book kind of guy. I'm not really a read stuff kind of guy. Um, this is Dr. Ferdinand Porsche's. What is this? I can't read German. This could be his driver's license. It's a piece of paper. No pictures back then. So much trust. Three, five, six. I guess those were the blueprints in the canister. You can see it in there. Oh man. More blueprints here. Pictures that they took. Type 917. I don't know what that is. Looks like a toilet plunger, but I'm sure it's not. I, I think it's a mallet. Modeling mallet. Yes. <laughs> toilet plunger. Uh, what else we got here? I guess that's part of the mallet like over the years when it was used to model the Porsches. Here's like a like a transfer case or the engine. And there it is. Flat six. No, that's like a flat one, two, three, four, five, flat ten. <laughs> and there's a picture of in the museum or how they when they modeled the cars, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to go through all 356 pages here. That looks like a model, not a real car. Yeah, it's a model. How they modeled the emblem. Different helmets that they used. More modeling. More notes on stuff. <laughs> That's a head. Um, engine. A turbocharger. More Porsche stuff. Some pages are sticking and we're missing that. That's the engine fan there. Looks like it's some sort of fiber composite, maybe carbon fiber, maybe Kevlar, or just fiberglass back then. Uh, carbon fiber is more of a new thing. Porsche key. A lot of companies are making keys like this now to represent that. Uh, here's the archive again. There's a turbo twist wheel that's from a 996 turbo. More cool stuff. More modeling stuff. This book is so cool. Maybe this is his uh, very first driver's license. There was a picture. Never mind. Look at that. Jeez. More archive stuff. More was that's what they made this book look like. More drawings. What an amazing book. There is not much to read. It's just a picture book, which I love. This is my favorite. <laughs> It's like at least comics, there's a little bit of reading to do. Um, design folio quickies, I guess these artists like. I mean, that would take me days to draw, and these guys probably quickies do in a couple of seconds. Um, this is that Porsche we're talking about. I guess that's the livery on it and how they modeled it. The pink pig design. And some more blueprints. It looks like an RS. Yes, 2.7 RS. And more Porsche stuff here. Helmets, visors. Oh, my favorite, the Rothmans Porsche. I had an RC car of this when I was a kid. It looks exactly like this. There's a 956. More age Rothmans from the paint and the decals. Porsche Red Bull. There's a 964 here. There's a 996 is there. And this is 
I don't know, 930, 964, 993, but that's a 959 back there. Now here we go from here, from old to the newest back then. Newest was 996. It's like a how they test aerodynamics with the stripes. It's like the delivery van or truck, those Porsche trucks. I don't know if that's an actual car, but it looks tiny. It's like a model wrapped up in cellophane. More stuff. I'm just going to flip through it faster. I don't want this video to take forever, but we can see everything in this book. It's so awesome. There's the different, uh, different patches and stuff. Old stickers, 901 files. Oh, there's his license from 1950. It has this on some sort of like fabric paper. <laughs> oh, and so easily probably forged those back then. That's why they've done so many crazy stuff nowadays. This is a directorate company stamp. This is Ferdinand Porsche's brooch. Those look like rubies with a diamond. Wow. More stuff here, looks like an umbrella with, I don't know what that is. Fairy's racetrack umbrella, that's his actual umbrella. What are these? These are all uh, Nurburg driving passes when they do all their testing on the Nurburg ring. And then this book now wants to kind of go this way, so I'm just gonna go from backwards now. But now you get these really nice glossy pictures of stuff. And some of these pages are actually stuck together. No, they're just, wow. I don't... Yeah, there's pages in between. There we go. It's like the ink was still, still wet when they did this. Jeez, they're really stuck together. There we go. Dahmer's Martini Racing. Tires. With, is that the Porsche crest in the tire design? Oh, there's a crease in this book. I didn't even put in that crease. Must have been like, during printing. There's that engine fan because they're air cooled. All the new ones are water cooled. So far they could take water cooling. That's the balsa wood shift knob. They've also put that really nice lacquered one in the Carrera GTs. This key is so cool. More of the, nine, the, the race car. The Targa Florio race. Oh yeah, that was the end of that. Okay, let's see if I can start flipping again this way. There's some Porsche design, I guess, uh, furniture. Some more documents. What documents is the beer contract? Can't read German. Umbrella concept. There's a Rothmans Porsche racing. I skipped a page there. Let's get some film reels. Film reels 997. Targa. Wow, this is so cool. This is William Hill's cigarette lighter. Interesting. I thought he designed the cigarette lighter and the Porsches. More cool stuff. This is the 950 Roadster blueprint. Aerodynamic model, all made of wood. <laughs> Factory time clock, that's so cool. I can't imagine how much this stuff is worth and how rare these things are. I mean, hence artifacts. I guess this is the archive there where they'll pull out like maybe the old uh, the old ads that they printed and I bet you they kept everything. Amazing. There's a white page there. Reinforced 911 rally swingers. 907 
H design. No idea what that is. Some blinkers, more concept cars or race cars. Hmm. The 2.7 RS is there. 1972 Porsche. Jeez. What a cool book. See, this is a coffee table book, but I, I, I wouldn't want anybody to touch this when holding a coffee. <laughs> This is the factory fruit wheels. They're forged. They're very lightweight. They're anodized. Um, I could be wrong on some points, but wow, that is that book all in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed. I, for one, am going to take some more time to read more or not read, but look more. I'll probably look at it with my daughter. After I kind of like stow it away for a bit because I have some more videos to do but uh yeah that is the Porsche artifacts book by type 7 and uh wow it is such a cool book um and published by ERG uh if you guys can find one I think I've seen a few online uh for a little bit more um than retail uh, but this is a pretty awesome book. If you're a big Porsche fan, uh, this is a must-have just to have on your shelf or on your coffee table. Um, but uh, this is something I'll definitely be keeping, especially as a birthday gift for my brother, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you liked uh, and enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this book. $250, or was it 250 euros? I don't even remember. Uh, it was a gift. I didn't even look it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, here it is. Maybe you guys saw it. Maybe you guys don't even need to buy one now that I've flipped through all the pages. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Back for one second. I pushed this book back in, and now I realize what this hole is for. is not for like pulling or anything, but when you put the book back in or when you put in service manuals, it just pushes the air out of here. So it's easier to pull, pull the book out and push the book back in. Huh. These Germans think of everything. All right. See you guys. Bye.